So this is how to account for just what actually matters. It doesn't take long if you follow these steps. So let's see if there's any inefficiencies that we can see that are not working well. Is that gonna help them? No. Can I scale it? No idea. These are all useless campaigns now. Good. We're fine here. Bulk majority conversions are probably above goal. Would I scale this? Not yet. Take just the areas that's actually gonna move the needle, just the areas that are spending, just the areas that are actually providing good value. We just chunked off one third of the entire account from a huge inefficiency that this company apparently doesn't know about. Let's look at shopping. Instead of our shopping campaigns, we have a shopping, a non-brand, a non-brand, and all products. And they're using the high and, and low priorities. So let's see what we're spending most amount of money on. SA generic, the cost is $36. Okay, if we're looking at the products that are selling, because we're using data-driven, should be fairly evenly distributed. So let's see if there's any inefficiencies that we can see that are not working well. Uh, and then do a converted value by cost. So now we're just going to evaluate the main shopping campaign. Remember for Pareto's 80 20 rule. I can't beat up a $2 per month campaign. It's not going to make a difference. Don't even talk about it. Look at where, where it's actually working or what's actually spending the most amount. So we have um, this campaign or this one that's doing three, five, four, five, two, five, four, six, three. Good. We're fine here. Bulk majority conversions are probably above goal. Would I scale this? Not yet. Let's look at the keywords. The search terms, the conversions that are coming in, again, there's too much brand. That's 22, that's, that's 12, that's three, that's three. And you see that they're actually having some split conversions in between here. I would probably take these and, and want to remove about 30% after you go through every single one of these search terms and find all the other ones that they're talking about, like way down here. Uh, Select that was not a dollar thirty conversion. That was brand, and that should not be in the non-brand campaign. So after cleaning this thing up, yep, you can reset it. This is a scalable campaign once it's optimized correctly. So we got shot. We got one shopping campaign we found so far with merit. We went through all the YouTube so far, and we went through just one shopping campaign. So let's hop back into the shopping campaigns. Let's look at non-brand RLSA. Okay, so non-brand RLSA should have nothing but non-brand. Good. This is good. Good, 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 good. Okay, we have two. Um, rabbit play, rabbit feed, that's good here. So we got two campaigns. You have a shopping campaign and you have an RLSA shopping campaign. Both good, good. That's probably doing about 80% of the work in this whole account too. And that's what we want to do is identify areas where we can stop spend and rescale. Right now, I got $6,000 more that I just saved them. I can put it into shopping right now and scale that. Why it's high, it's high quality non-brand uh, cold traffic is what it looks like so far. <clears throat> and then uh, that one didn't spend enough and that one didn't spend enough. So I'm going to ignore these two. So cool. We have two shopping campaigns that I can increase by $6,000 a month. This can go from four to 10 and they will instantly pretty much double the amount of sales that they're going to achieve for the same exact price that they're paying now. YouTube wasn't doing anything. Look at search. On search campaigns, it's going to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more finicky because there is a lot of non-brand that we can't see what actually was generated from it before. There is some shopping return traffic there, and we're going to verify that actually here in a moment. But now we have a whole heap ton of search campaigns that are using target CPA, and these aren't spending enough to really move the needle. Anything that spent less than hundred dollars, I don't care about. So now we've just taken. Was this uh, 11 of the 24? Or we just hacked them right all off because this combined spent probably about 150 bucks a month. Is that going to help them? No. Can I scale it? No idea. These are all useless campaigns now to me. I can't tell you what happens after 9, 2, and uh, 0, 0, 0, 0. <clears throat> So let's focus on what we're spending the most amount of money on. So let's do this campaign. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, let's do cost. And we're going to say cost is greater than 200. Okay. So on a 30-day period, on a $24,000 account, there's only nine campaigns that spend more than $200. We just hacked off all of those other campaigns. I'm not even going to think about them. I'm going to build them from scratch. They're not worth our time evaluating anyway, because they can make all the changes to the world that we would mention in those campaigns. They'd still be like, yeah, but nothing's happening now. You're right. We, we, we focused on the irrelevant. So now we're looking at $6,700 or so $2,700 is coming in from. So 27, 50, 75. Was that 
um, let's just do 6,700 divided by uh, 12747, 2747. Uh, oh, is that two, four, three? Okay. So 2.66% is, okay, so about 65% of all of their ad spend is coming into the brand campaign. So we have to kind of take this one and also exclude that right now, just because it's irrelevant. And I'm, but we're gonna go through that here in a moment. <clears throat> so the campaign name that contains, oh no, I didn't mean to click on that. I, I forgot I don't have edit access, so I can't click on the pencil and highlight it. Uh, campaign name, it's not contain that one. Okay, so now we've spent $4,000. So remember we spent, Six, we have a, we have six, essentially four thousand dollars in shopping campaigns that are good so far. That we found out twenty three grand. That's about it. The brand campaign I'm ignoring. YouTube campaigns we're ignoring. We found about four to six thousand dollars of quality spend so far out of twenty three thousand. Now we're going to evaluate the last four. We have these here. If I can, hopefully this is going to stay. Sometimes it doesn't. No, it does not. Okay, so let's just do this here. Okay, that's BS. There we go. So these and this. So now let's evaluate what's going on in here. So now we have $2,000 in spend that is not the brand campaign in search. And that's a $26 cost for conversion. We know it's 50. Okay, that's a 2x return on average. However, we haven't removed all the brand yet. So search campaign, search term contains. Uh, can't spell. So now if you're in any of the search campaigns that don't have search terms, that's $16 in conversion. Good. This is good. This is only now $685 of cold traffic search campaigns. It's getting us $16. But again, we only have 40 conversions out of how many account total? 2,100, no, 2,724. So the non-brand search campaigns brought us 40 of those. <laughs> 40 out of 2,700. See what, what we're looking at here. We've just essentially went through the entire account and show that 80% of your spend is inefficient. Your non-brand search brought you 40 of those conversions out of 2,700. Your non-brand shopping, that's working well. That non-brand shopping, that's actually moving the most amount of, most amount of, uh, of assets or some most amount of products. Your shopping campaign brought you, so let's say 40, the non-brand shopping, let's just say this one brought 254, cool. So let's combine these, even though some brand in there to 300. So now what we know is 300 of the 2,700 have been not because of your brand name. YouTube, we can't tell. We have to rebuild that one, that's gone. Your search campaign, only 40 conversions are there. Your shopping campaign, only 250 are there, or let's say 300, so it's 365. Let's get better than the doubt and call them all non-brand, 365. 365 conversions out of 2,700 are brand or null spend, which means when it says hasn't been able to scale and wants to scale aggressively, that's the reason why he's in this position right now. You can't scale something that's 80% fat. It was not, it's just going to double down on it, especially with a strict restricted bidding strategy, especially if we're only counting a three day conversion and do through. And especially if we let Google do all the targeting. This is not a glitch. I'm interrupting the video you're watching because I need to remind you that I'm always looking for people to join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you want to work with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. Speaking of working with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, if you're having trouble with Google Ads and you want professional help, that's what we do. You can go to solate.com, that's S-O-L-8.com, to apply for your free, no obligation action plan. And if I've given you any level of value at all, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. That's how we juice the YouTube algorithm so they actually know that I know what I'm talking about. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or confessions, hit me below in the comments. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. So what we, what I would also invite you all to do on the brain transfers, you've seen how the brain works. You take the macros of everything. You take just the areas that's actually going to move the needle, just the areas that are spending, just the areas that are actually providing good value. Because if you take your ad spend, just sprinkle across everything and scale up, 
your conversions are not going to move very much. Your conversion, uh, your cost per conversion is going to spike. Your ROAS is going to dip. The restrictive bidding strategies are going to kick in. They're going to pull back down that spend and they're going to go, I don't know what's going on. So this is how to account for just what actually matters. It doesn't take long if you follow these steps. Check conversion tracking. Check where the spend is going. I don't care what they're called. Non -brand. I don't I don't really care about anybody's interpretation of this account. We can see the truth right in front of our eyes. When we removed all the small pets, there was 350 out of 2,700 that came from people that didn't know about them. And yeah, no wonder why they can't scale, especially using the restrictive bidding strategy, especially not capturing all of those conversions and then letting Google do its thing. That's not a good idea. Because of that, we're looking at a very low net profit. This account right now has a 630% ROAS. Anybody worth their salt here on this call, because they're all excellent marketers, knows that a 630 ROAS when running one third YouTube is not cold traffic. That's the first thing that's going to jump out to you. When you see a 6.3x return for the account, there's no way that you can say with any sort of high degree of efficiency and, 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 and intellectually honesty, and intellectual honesty, that yeah, we took 23K on YouTube and turned it into 146 full traffic. Nope, it's not gonna happen. This would really need to look like a 1.5 for this account to actually grow. So when the person, but if I talk on the phone with this person, he says, hey, how do we scale? It's like, well, one, your ROAS is way too high. That means that we're just capturing all those people that are already gonna buy from us anyway. My thing would be is not necessarily scale. I've cut spend 80%. Check your inbound, uh, sorry, check your direct and your organics and see does that reallocate itself. If so, we just saved you eight, or how much did we save them? Uh, saved them $8 out of their $50 purchase. That could have been half the profit margin for all we know. And if that is half the profit margin, we saved them all that spend. That means now they're banking that money. That's their money in their bank account. They're getting that yippee skippy good. They're probably running Facebook, I would imagine, because of the amount of brand that's running there. Okay, I'm sure they're probably running Facebook. Um, it has to. We know that Google targeting is not delivering us third, um, you know, 8x returns on a brand from a YouTube campaign that's never tried to convert. Those two don't match up. So they have to be running either, they have to be in-store or running other marketing. That's that's one of the reasons why this campaign is running at $8 CPCs, or sorry, $8 cost per conversion. That's because that this one here, they're, they're all campaigns, $8 conversions in the account because their search campaign, that's 60 or like 75% of all their, their sales. thinks current results are good, but hasn't been able to scale and wants to scale aggressively. Um, perfect. That's all That's all we're going to do. That's what we're, that's all I'm going to know. And that's what we're going to go off of in the beginning. So this is going to be pure cold. Haven't seen this client before. Um, 